Okay, so uh, what I thought we would do is uh, there's sort of this blank page problem with Federated Wiki. You get on Federated Wiki, it's easy to get a site. Uh, I host uh, several farms. Uh, ultimately, you'd love to have your own sites. You should own everything of your own, and anything you put on my farm, you can just pull off and put in your own. But uh, an easy way to play with it is to get on a farm. So I just thought we'd make some sites and then talk about how to work them. Okay. Uh, and to that end, this is something you can follow along or memorize or uh, whatever way works for you. And the, uh, so you can see my screen there. What I did is I went to a place, uh, my, my farm is Tries Fed Wiki. Mm -hmm. And so I said Ward Tries Fed Wiki. And you could type your name, Tries Fed Wiki. Okay. And if somebody else is already there, you might have to pick a different name or use a last name or something like that. Okay. And and it's really set up for keyboard. I think you're probably going to have a little trouble with that. Okay. Right? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Uh, so uh, the, 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 the welcome visitors page is the one page that you get for free. You know, if you just show up here, here's a page. It has a little bit written about it, about what a federated wiki is. If you click that, it, it probably says nice things somewhere in here about uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the the roots of this, which go back to this conference, uh, uh, you know, six years ago. Uh, there's also some information, like here's a little instructions on how to actually work it, how to wiki is, uh, and by the way, in Federated Wiki, I drop the Federated when I'm in the wiki. When I say wiki, I mean Federated Wiki. Any other conversation, I might say Federated Wiki, but this just is how to wiki, how to do various operations, but there's, there's a couple of pages here. Here's one about Federated Wiki that uh, just describes what we've done. This is sort of the, you know, you don't really want to do it, but you want to know what it is. And so maybe you go, you know, you could go to my site and read that. You know, uh, Ward tries Fed Wiki. Uh, the, uh, 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 the the other is this field guide to the Federation, and this basically says you come here and you need to find your way around the Federation. So so those two, you click How to Wiki. If you click Recent Changes, you'll also find out what's been going on here. In fact, uh, I see that just poking around, uh, and this is something that's it's kind of hard to, to get to start with, but, but uh, I'm on a site that only has a couple of pages. Uh, down here in the lower right-hand corner, it's how many places I've been in this browser tab. If I look at a different browser tab, it'll be different. But as I move around, uh, this grows. So right now it says down here, it says I, I have four pages in my neighborhood. That's not a very big site. But if I click this federated wiki, it mentions this other site and it went in red. Notice there's two sites down here, just went the site, site map. So it now says you're in a wiki that's 64 pages. Mm -hmm. And if I come down here and say, well, tell me how to wiki and let me look at a couple of these things and a couple of these things. So now I've got five sites in my neighborhood because I just went and visited them. And that's up to 198 pages. So this is how you kind of move around. One of the things is if you're looking for something and you try a search, if I say search for bicycles, you know, it says, well, we got one site here that's about bicycles. But if I, that's not the site I'm looking for, I just browse around a little bit and pretty soon I'll have, you know, a thousand pages there. And if I search for bicycles, I'm going to see a lot more, mm -hmm. right? So this is uh, this is it. So so now getting back to our original problem. Oh, by the way, if you click on one of these, uh, uh, you might think of it as an uh, as a favicon, but we call them flags because they're just colors. Uh, that says take me back to the beginning. Here I'm back to four pages. So you spread out, pull a bunch of stuff in, look around. You know, it's just. So Clicking takes you. So we click there. 
And, and so you can just look down at the bottom. Is, these are related to this? Yeah, those are sites that you've touched just in your clicking around. Okay, yeah. in the different sites. Yeah. So did you make a site for yourself there? I did, but it, I think it disappeared. So, um, what site is it? Jim Vick. Tries to fed Ricky. Jim, that, that's your name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. J I M C. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. So I hit carriage return. And now I'm looking at your site. Does it have that purple icon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it made purple for you. Okay. Now it's so different for each user. Yeah. Now, now what you should do is. Uh, this, this gray rectangle, that is a paragraph is waiting to become something. And what you do, like if you dropped an image on it, it would become an image. But what you want to do is double click to edit it, and you're going to, you're going to make a page for yourself. Okay. So I'm going to go do it on mine, which is, and then we can go watch you do it on yours. So I'm going to say Word, oh, not that one, that one already exists. Uh, Word tries FedWiki. And so what I'll do is I'll double click this, type Ward Cunningham, and then uh, Command Save is what uh, what I do. Or or you could just click outside. So if I just click outside, it'll double click. Uh, a double click opens it. Oh, so double click in the gray. So I think he was a single clicked or something. So uh, you're, it's it's still locked. So I don't think he's claimed. Oh, but it shouldn't matter. Oh, oh well, uh, oh. down here, down here in the corner, there's this oh, thing. Oh, it's claiming. Yeah, and then Wiki isn't checking. Oh, okay. So it's Google login. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so that that's a little something that I've uh, so so now if I look at your site. Oh. It says this site is opened by Jim Kick, mm -hmm. and do, do you have this little this wiki down here in the bottom? Is that check? Uh, yeah, this little check mark. Okay, so now now editing should work for you. Ah, okay. So. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is, uh, yeah, th th this is kind of like the front matter or front matter of a book. You okay. know, it's always kind of boring. You mm -hmm. know, it just tells you who the publisher is and what publication date or whatever. Mm -hmm. What we always do is we say, who are we mm -hmm. and what are we doing here? And so I'm just going to say, uh, we're doing cool stuff uh, at Indie. Uh, web summit. You might write something else, but you know, every one of these you do some one thing or another. So I'm just going to do some cool stuff here. And when I click on either of those, ah, here I see because I reset this, I actually had some testing, some improvements, and search, blah blah blah. I actually had a page there, but uh, here I don't. So I'm going to say I'll create that page. And if I want to get one of those uh, gray boxes that I can type into, I can just hit plus. Every time I hit plus, it gives me another one. Okay. These are all things that here it's reminding me all the kinds of things it can be. But if you just double click it, it makes it a simple paragraph. So I'm okay. just going to double click so it. Is sort of template thing? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, I'll write about cool stuff. And, and uh, <laughs> then, uh, th then maybe I decide that I'd, I'd like to write in Math Jack. So I'll say I'm going to do this with, uh, you know, Math Jacks. You know, you say uh, something like uh, pi, I think, and uh, that'll give you the, the character pi. Uh, that's just another markup. So there's 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 multiple markups here. Maybe that's not how you do pi. Maybe it's uh, uh, capital pi. Well, so I forget the markup, but if I do command I, 
it knows that I've made that be a math check, so it's a math plugin, and it just gives me some examples. I can see how to do this. Can I can even I? look. Is it while you're in? Yes. So, so uh, here I'm editing, and it wasn't working for me, so I just go back into the editor, and while the editor's open, it knows that I have my focus there, and with a command I, it, it brings up some information about brings what up. This is like the man page ah, book. for the plugin. I like it. And in fact, the plugin, the man pages, the about pages we call them, usually has an example. So I'm just looking at this example, and I see it, see it used a, a backslash square bracket. Oh, and it says backslash round bracket should work, but there was something I was not doing right about that. Uh, but I'm going to make it this uh, square bracket. And uh, if I uh, uh, save it, no, it's still not working. Uh, maybe it spaces. Okay. Capital I. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to grab this content, which is obviously working, and try it over here. Well, that worked. So, I guess I'm proving my incompetence at left hack, but. Um, uh, and, and this is interesting because uh, all of this stuff is is just JSON. If I come down here to the bottom of the page, it has a little bit of information. Hmm. Like I can see how this is represented. I have a title. There's a story which has a paragraph and some math. And the paragraph says I'll write some cool stuff. And the uh, uh, it says something about uh, how I'm going to do that with the uh, with a binomial theorem, I guess that is, whatever that math is. And uh, uh, that's not binomial, but whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so so um, the, the other interesting thing is I get this history down here that tells me how I got to this. I could go back and see, well, here I was struggling with a pi. I could even go back to here where I just had those two entries. So I'm I'm roaming around through my code. In fact, what I did back here is I wanted to kind of show what this was like when you first come in. So I just said, well, go back to here, and I got that page. So, uh, uh, you know, there's this, this ability to move things about. Uh, the back button works. The Also, the arrow keys will scroll back and forth, so we'll stack up lots of pages, and then uh, Start uh, scrolling. Let me, uh, let me look into here. How to wiki. Uh, how about the field guide for the federation? You're new here, so this is our this is our, our sort of our challenge. It says, now look at this. This is this is interesting. I've actually gone through three different sites here. Uh, I started in this yellow one. That's my site. Mm -hmm. And then this field guide came from just fedwiki.org, and then it refers to uh, pages that are uh, in, in a third site. But, you know, just because it fills in down here, they all link together. So this is, this is a, I call this the collaborative link, because if it doesn't find the page on my site, it'll go look at the history of where this page has been and go find the site where, where it is needs to be that way. You can have, you know, 100 pages and I can have 50 pages and when I pull one of your pages into mine, we sort of collectively have 150 pages. Okay. Right? And uh, just navigating, well, here I got to 222 pages. This, this suggests things to do. It says claim the site by being the first to log in. That was down here. You did that. Okay. Where do you see that? Uh, this is the instruction right here. Oh, under the, you're new here. Right. Now, what I might do, being new here, I might keep track of what I'm doing. And so I'm just going to say, I'm going to remember that I've done that. And I just drag that up there. So now I have it under done. And the other interesting thing, just doing that edit, it's bothered to say, let me make a new page in my site, keeping track of the fact that I'm done, not you're done. But if you drag it up. The other thing it says, choose a flag that you like. Flags are colored gradients that we use in lots of places. So I come back here, 
Oh, where is it? It says, choose a flag, try the about flagmatic plugin. So here's, here, flagmatic is the tool. Sometimes we have tools, we call them something or other matic. It's a, and, and I said, is there, is there any color there that I like better? <laughs> and, you know, yellow is pretty good. But uh, if I click it again, I'll get, you know, I'll, I'll keep rolling the dice here. And this one's a nice orangey color. So I'll pick that, and then that's become my site. Uh, it's changed on the server. If I uh, just reload the pages, then it shows. So I've really changed it. Look, it even changed up there. Sometimes in the tab is slow to change. But, uh, you know, it turns out that people were, didn't mind me making icons for them as long as it wasn't a color they hated. <laughs> so instead of having it be your face or you yeah. know, Elmer Fudd or something yeah. like that. We just make it a color. And in fact, you can look up here across the top and you can say, well, I got a bunch of tabs open here and about half of them are federated wiki. And there you can tell they're different federated wikis because they, yeah. you know, start with different colors. Mm -hmm. But I'll know, you know, that this orangey one, that's where, uh, that's where I'm working. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a, a question yeah. about, uh, related to that. Yeah. Uh, if I go to p4sites.collins.world. Okay, I'm going to go go there. P um, p4sites.collins.world. No, no E at the end. Is there a way to close these once if you got too many? Uh, if you just pick something to your left, if you use the arrow keys to go to the left, then it'll close then, all the. Yeah, it just recloses to the right if you if you click a different link in any one of these. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So if that you goes, click on the square, it'll that, go that closes eyes. them and forgets that you were at the site. Oh yeah, I, I lost all these guys. Here. Yeah, but yeah. if I if I go if I go, you know, now watch here as I dig down on his site. Yeah. Um, and I I decide, you know, I'm not interested in that. I want to see what David's got. So I just click on David's site, and I can, you know, move through his stuff. It's interesting. So this one, it, it, it said David Bowville, and it, and it couldn't find it in the information that was on this page. Yeah. But it says because we had so many pages open here, it found several David Bowville sites. And I don't know that, had, that had to do with your other apps? Yeah. Well, no, it's just what down here because, okay. oh, because you had, this you site, had, because you had mentioned so many sites here. Yeah. Okay. So if I had a link to David Bowville, I'll get that page? Uh, it depends upon whether he's in your neighborhood or not. So, oh, okay. So, how do, how do what you, well, were you looking at people? Oh, is this the neighborhood, neighborhood down here? Yeah, that's what yeah, you, yes. so you have to open. So you have, was, you have to find that was actually the question I was about to get to. Um, is so, like, when I first go to this site, and I, I don't know whether it's because I'm logged in or not, but I get three here. Yeah, but in, interesting to me is like, so something you had suggested before is like, I could fork some of my own things among those three are not my other two wikis. How can I make my other two wikis show up in there? The the Forsyth Criteria one and the Reading Journal one. Okay. How can I make them just automatically show up there before I visit them? So so let me let me this is a usual way to do it. Maybe I want on my site that, that Pete Forsyth is here. So I'm just gonna create the Pete Forsyth page. And this is a little tricky. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that page. See how I'm dragging that? flag. I'm going to just take it over here to the orange site, the cool stuff at IndieWeb, and I just drop it. Now that's put them side by side. That's a little gesture that we're not all that used to. Right. Yeah. But I don't want it just on my browser. I want to fork it. So I'm going to come down here to this flag. It's kind of like claiming it as mine. I'm going to claim your page as mine. It's recorded it's your own history version. of where I got it. I have my own version. And now it doesn't matter. I can I can go away. I can come back and say Ward, uh, uh, not that one. I just wanted to go someplace else. I'll say tries Federated Wiki, mm -hmm. and I come back, and I only have my one site. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I say, well, what have I changed recently? Mm -hmm. Well, here's Pete Forsyth. Yeah. and just touching that page brought you into my neighborhood plus your changes. Right. in my neighborhood. So, uh, you know, I'm expanding my view as I browse around. Yeah. But the way I joined your stuff to yeah. my stuff, 
is by just choosing that page, which was here, by choosing that page, it, no, it must have been here, yeah, right, but I, I think I have it open several places, yeah. and just dragging it. Yeah. The other thing I could do is I could say, uh, and, and, and here I, I made it by forking the page. The other thing I could do is I could say, you know, right here in my welcome visitors, I want to, I have this drop zone. I could take that, take that Pete Forsyth page, and instead of dropping it over here and forking it, I could drop it here, in which case it doesn't fork it, it makes this link. And that's what uh, uh, some, some people, you know, this is like a bibliographic uh, paragraph. Yeah. And, uh, and in fact, if I want to find out what it is, I can clover I, and it says that's a reference. A reference as opposed to just a paragraph that uh, uh -huh. on a page that has been forked. Okay, so I think that I think that's the key part that I didn't understand. So, so on my on um, world, the reason that I get some of these immediately as soon as I come here is because I have them actually linked in that way. Yes, I have, I have pages from them actually linked in that way. So here's something I could do. I could say, you know, I don't want them showing up immediately. I want to show them only when I uh, talk about cool stuff at Indie Web. So, yeah. I, you know, so, so notice every time I come here. When I come to it, I've got these two pages open. So what I'll do is I'll say, cool stuff at Indie Web. I wish I'd put this over here. So I just drag it over here, and now it's over there. So now when I come here, I just have my own stuff. But when I click cool stuff from Indie Web, I get your stuff. Yeah. Okay. And, and in fact, I'm going to, uh, uh, this is Jim, site. Yeah, let's see how that's looking. I'll refresh the window. And, oh, it's got some nice stuff here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Jim's site. I'm going to do both of them. Oh, nothing, not, nothing much here, you know, but, but you'll improve that soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to copy that page over here and fork it. Mm -hmm. So now I have a copy of your page, and it says, if you update it, I'm going to see this says I've got the older one. But right now they're the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you could update it a little bit, and we'll see if that works. But then I'm also going to come and say, you know, I really want, uh, what have we got here? Uh, how to wiki. Well, you haven't actually written much, so there's nothing I really want to copy until you get a little more <laughs> going <Yeah>. here. <laughs> So if I, if I say cool stuff in any web, oh, that's your cool stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. So that's some stuff. Let's, uh, so so you, you see I'm popping around. One thing I'm always keeping track of is where did I start? This one I started at ward.fed.wiki.org. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, I got a bunch of JavaScript from that site. It knows that is the origin. Anything I change is going to go back to that site. I'm also logged into that site, so that works well. For me. If I come over here to Pete Forsyth, PeteForsyth.commons.world is my origin. All the JavaScript came off of that site, and uh, I'm not logged into that. It's owned by Pete Forsyth, and and so if I tried to edit here, it wouldn't go onto my site back here. It would. Uh, well, I can edit. I can, I, I can move something around. Oops. I guess I have to say I want the wiki behavior. If I say wiki, I want wiki behavior without logging in uh, and, and move this stuff around. It says, sure, we can do that. But this little yellow halo there says, well, I tried to save it to the site, but I couldn't save it to the site because you're not logged in. So I just saved it in your browser. Mm -hmm. And saving it in the browser means anybody can edit anything. Okay. But not anybody can see what I edit, because yeah. if I edit a site that I don't own, it just saves it in my browser. And also so, that means if I switch to a different browser, I won't see it, but it sticks in this browser. Mm -hmm. So I think I get something unexpected when yeah. I try to do what you suggested. I So I dragged this icon over to 
this site, but I get this whole part. It, it takes the whole first paragraph from that page. I don't want the whole first. This is my journal. That just happens to be the first thing in there. Uh -huh. I just want a link to the, the well, page, you, you but all this text just, is. You can always just double click it and edit it. I, but if I edit it, but that, like, so if I take everything out of there, then does something remain? Well, I'll put something in there like a space at least. Okay. Otherwise, because ah, okay. because removing everything says I don't want it. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But and, if I just put a space, then it's and then and okay. we have this convention that uh, the first paragraph of every page mm -hmm. says what the page is about. Right. And if you do a search, so I can customize that. I can say this is where I put my notes about this stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and so you know when I when I started my page over here, you know I said. The cool stuff in the web, I suppose, this is, we call it the synopsis. I, I'll write cool stuff about the web. Uh, and then, then proceeded to write some crazy stuff that isn't that cool. But, uh, okay, cool. So let's see, if I reload this, I'll see. Look at this. On my site, it says Jim Pick. My site was forked at uh, three minutes ago. I can see the history. The site was made 17 minutes ago, but I forked it three minutes ago. And if I look up here, it says there's a newer one. And so I'm just going to go to the newer one. If I click there, I can side by side compare them. So you must have put something and erased it, or oh, wait a second. I put a, a, a. Oh, there it is. I think it's a slow. I see. Got it. All right. So we have an image there. Notice that on uh, on this page it says this is the page and mine is the older one. So over here, this is a page and here's a newer one. So it, it's just checking the dates and the dates are all down here in the. You know, this was uh, 59 seconds ago. Mm -hmm. So this is our art history. In fact, if I want to look at it a little before that, I can click on it and see it on. Ah, so you added a few more things. Oh, and you put about Federated Wiki in there. Okay. So that was, uh, you know, they're all time stamped. So when I'm put about Federated Wiki, is not in my neighborhood, so it gives me these, these ones, right? We didn't uh, find the page. Yes, there. yes. But any one of those, you could click, click on one. Yeah. And then you have it. And if you want it in your neighborhood, just fork it. How do I fork it again? So, so it has the blue border that says it's out somewhere outside. Well, okay. Let's scroll down. And down there, there's two little buttons at the bottom. It's the one that's the flag. Okay. And that says that claim it. Fork this page. And then you can see that you forked it from there. Okay. And it should have your flag on it. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. So then if I, if I go back here and then click on it, it should just go. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> there, because you brought some pages into your neighborhood, mm -hmm. but you didn't have them on your site. Yeah. And then you wrote a link to it. Yeah. It says, well, I'm not going to claim to have that page yet. Yeah. And I don't on my own page know how you got there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say that I I've heard of it. And the, these here, this means these neighborhoods have the same content, or is it the same? Uh, what 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 it's doing is it's saying because I've heard of these other sites, yeah. I'm going to go out and see if they're still up by grabbing the flag. Okay. If you get the flag, the site's still there. Yeah. And it also reads the site map. So they all have site maps that are updated automatically, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why the the number of pages in your neighborhood go up. Uh, it also your search base goes up. So if I want to look for gyms, mm -hmm. let, let me see. Let me make sure I'm in my site. I'm on my site. Uh, which one? This orange one. And I'm just gonna. Uh, just click. I'm clearing out. I'm just going to click about. Oh, that gave me Pete. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to click your site, which oh, is Jim Pick. Yes, yeah, I did something that was older there. Right. 
So I've got the Jim Pick site now. Now if I just go back, so I'm not even seeing those things, mm -hmm. but if I, because I have all 36 pages there, if I say, find me, find me some gems, and it says, well, I know of two pages. One says about federated with the other, it's got no items in it. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, this is the search results. So what you write on that first paragraph is what comes back from the search result. Mm -hmm. So you're writing your own search result. It's also actually the text that is searched. Mm -hmm. Because we read the site map, which is full of those single paragraphs, it's worth writing something that's you know, got a lot of keywords in it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then you can uh, uh, search that. Uh, so I've got another question. Yeah. Uh, maybe I misunderstood, but early, early on when you were showing me this stuff, or I think from one yeah. of your videos, I thought that uh, it's possible to grab, like, just drag a paragraph from an arbitrary website into an edit area. No, it's well, you can cut and paste. Okay. But the drag and drop That's work, within. works within Wiki. Okay. So they, you know, from one picky, Wiki to another, they don't mm -hmm. have to be the same site, but any write is going to go back to your site. This image I have any was gigantic. That's why it was so slow. What was that last part? Any write is going to go back to my site? Well, if you say, maybe you're booking a, a, a couple of pages. You start on your own site, and you're logged in. But you navigate to my site and you say, well, Ward has got this all backwards. He should have put this over here. You can drag some from one page to another page. So you've modified two pages, made one page smaller and another one larger. And it'll just write both pages back to your own site. Oh, I see. So you're refactoring my site, hopefully in an improvement, and you're saving it for yourself. Mm -hmm. OK. So let's see, we're going to go back to the field guide. It says, you're new here. We uh, uh, claim the site. We've chosen a flag. Tell us your name. Tell us your name. That says, go back here. Okay, I told them my name. Ward Cunningham. So that's done. And tell us what you're doing here. Make it a link. So this is this is some good advice. It's worth reading this, and that's that's this basic. You know, this first page, this welcome page, is is uh, like the front of a book. You know, it's just sort of always the same, just some basic facts, and then then you get off into interesting places. So let's see. I have I have what I'm going to do there. I'm going to explore that. So I would say that uh, this part of exploring the web is done. I can also come, next thing is featured site. Here are some cool sites to go to. Next thing is how to watch everything going on. Now this is interesting. This is everything that's going on on the web. And this is, this is pulled in by uh, reading from a global, you know, I scrape the federation. And every, every six hours, I do another scrape. And this is what I saw mm -hmm. happening. That comes from board.wiki.pet.wiki. It, co it com comes from somewhere, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it's a good way. I mean, as this gets bigger and bigger, I'm going to have to do this every 15 minutes just to keep it small enough. But right now, this, this shows all the different sites that have been operating here over the last week. And uh, if I want to watch everything, uh, what I can do is I can say, well, let, let, let's do it real simply. I'm going to go back to, back to here and say Field Guide to the Federation. So I've got 113 pages. And I say watch everything. And here it shows me what I could have in my neighborhood, but because there's so much stuff here, it doesn't load my neighborhood. But if I touch any one of these things, if I touch that one, I can keep, and I'm just looking at the welcome visitor pages. And with each one, I get stuff added to my neighborhood. Or I could just say, all this stuff on Saturday morning, this is GMT, Saturday evening, that's this little arrow that says load them all and load all these. 
you can load all these and you can see and that's kind of hard to see under that uh, little thing but you know they're they're just loading up so i'm up to 900 pages well, if it's a second row here that's because this is a new site showed up here's a couple new sites so um so um, I'm up to 2,000 pages, and that means I, I know about 2,000 pages in my search here. And what we, we search for bicycles. So in those 2,000 pages, I found four different sites that have something about uh, bicycles. Bike patterns, gated community, check the weather, shows up, looks like the same site in two different places. I can also say, show me all the changes. Show me what's going on. So, so this month, how many from all this neighborhood, what's new? Well, here we were editing something, a list of sensors that change, cool stuff on the web. If I hover over that, that says that was 13 minutes ago. Welcome visitors, Jim Pick. Uh, recent farm activity is a robotic update 45 minutes ago. This is in the last day. You can kind of scroll through here and see that things come in spurts. Here's a spurt that, you know, ran from uh, 40 hours ago to uh, uh, 41 hours ago. Well, look at that. Back to uh, uh, two days ago. So, so this is somebody pulling in a lot of stuff. In fact, we can kind of uh, feast. Uh, I don't know. Look. Firebase and sandstorm. You know, we can we can be looking around at this. But these are just they don't pull everything into your neighborhood, do they? When you're looking at this, only sort of special case. what I had. Uh, this this thing where it just shows you all these things. It turns out if you want to look at too many things, you'll clog your neighborhood yeah. with too much stuff. Yeah. So we sort of say, you know. Here's what's going on. You can roll uh, your mouse across this and, and with, right. uh, you know, say, do I even care? Or a lot of times you'll just load up a bunch like I have here and say, well, that's interesting. Now, now let's get rid of it. You know, just go back, go back to where I was. Just, just oh, and that removes it from your neighborhood. Yeah, it's just basically, it's like refreshing the browser. Okay. And so now I'm back to eight pages. Okay. And you load them by clicking on the, the flag. The flag, yeah. So, so, and what's the threshold? Like where it says there are too many for us to load it all into the neighborhood. I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I, I've seen, you know, 8,000, but it, but you know, it takes memory. I thought you were saying that you, I think I misunderstood. Oh, oh it, it depends upon what kind of, uh, uh, if, if we have, you know, here, it just decided that if you viewed this because it just mentions one page, you're probably mm -hmm. interested in that. Yeah. But if we, uh, and, and where was Go it? Go to this everything page, right? Yeah, how do we keep, if I go to that everything page, it's just a different plugin, and that plugin is programmed. It says, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff, but you're going to have to ask for it. Okay, so it's not based on a certain number, it's just it's a plugin that you're using. The plugin itself fundamentally doesn't add stuff to the neighborhood. Right, and I believe that that actually what it makes is a roster, mm -hmm. which is the same as like an instructor might do. So let's see, watch everything. I'll check that by just double clicking this. Ah, it is a roster. In fact, it's a roster that says transclude it from this other site. So if I went to that site, search.fed.wiki.org 3030, I would, I would see its roster. So it builds a roster and then just reads it. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and so that was roster behavior. Hmm. So I have a question. How do I, de how do I delete this one to put a smaller image? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm having trouble thinking about it. So the easy thing to do would be to uh, go down at the bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me just change mine, and then you can fork it because I have a copy of your your thing. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to your page, which I would get to by saying, uh, well, first of all, get rid of get rid of all the stuff I don't want. Mm -hmm. Show my recent changes, which is not much. Oh, but here's, it's on the Jim Pick page. So I'll look here. I already have a smaller one, but if I look at yours, 
Now it's taking it. I got the big image. Yeah. It's trying to put a smaller one in. And you did that. How did you put that in? By dragging and dropping? Drop yeah. yeah. But I didn't look at the size of the image before I did it. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny. It, uh, it does. It does squeeze the images so yeah. that you don't make it too big. Oh. But just, it must be the networking slow here or something. Okay. Like it, like it trims it down to 500 by something. Oh, so maybe that's okay. You know, so so dragging big images like I would get, you know, these panoramas off of Wikipedia mm -hmm. and drag them, and, and uh, you know, we think of it as postcard sized. Yeah. You know, and and the reason we do that is because we store it right in the JSON, mm -hmm. so that the sharing semantics oh. is exactly what you think. If you fork the page, you get all the images yeah. with it. Um, there's things you can do to to uh, to not do that. Uh, here, I think, uh, well, like if I look at the JSON, here I'm saying, just show me the JSON from the page. So I'm now, I, I'm, I'm kind of poking around to understand what you did. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fork it onto my site. Mm -hmm. oh, it's been slow, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Heck with that forking. I'm just going to reload this so that I know what my browser is doing. Ah, that's my way. Let's, uh, let's kill this. And I'll just carry your turn up there and I'll get all the stuff. Cause... And what you really want is just this about federated wiki. So I'm just going to drag this over here. And now I have the newer page. Okay. So now if you refresh your window. I'll tell you the other thing I'm going to do is uh, we'll sing near yeah it should but it has to load <laughs> I think it's still loading oh wait well yeah yeah now why does he have the yellow halo around welcome visitors you can get rid of that halo if you just fork click no. Go down to the bottom and just click the fork button. You're logged in, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Click the fork now. So now you said put it on my server. Okay. So he didn't have his own welcome visitors. Uh, it's possible if anything goes wrong with the network, like a timeout okay. or something that yeah. says, well, I couldn't write to the server, so I'll just save it in local. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a flaky connection. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out why this is so slow. Uh, and I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking that there might be multiple copies. So I'm just going to take this picture as it stands and drag it over here. And I think I have a new a new site a new page here that has got very little edits in it. It has got the two things you want. And if you can fork that, so I would go to. You might, so you probably, I see you don't have my site in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you should do is, is just go to a new tab and type Ward Tries Fed Wiki in a new tab. And try recent changes so you can see all that I've been working on. Okay. And and there one. it is. And it still takes some time to come up, mm -hmm. but jump. not too long. And now just fork that page. Oh, oh no, no, you have to. Dra I'm sorry, you have to drag that page to your to your tab, right? Yeah. And now you have them side by side, but the one you want is the one on the right. So okay. yeah, now so just fork that. That took over from that yes. one. Now it doesn't change the what you have because you might want to take some stuff off of that and drag it back and forth, but you probably don't. Mm -hmm. And so if you refresh your window again, just yeah. so I did, if I don't want that, I can do oh. well. Just yeah, you know, reload your window so you only get from the server the most recent ones. Okay. That's interesting. You got that. Uh, 
So I think if you go, oh, mm -hmm. I don't know why it's not showing you an older one now that you just worked that. Now that it's in your neighborhood, shouldn't it be showing him newer? Uh, there it is. Ah, oh, there you go, or older and newer. From his, he sees it from 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 Ward dot tries to pick a number key. Oh yeah, and now on. So no, but you're still on Ward dot tries. This is a, yeah. So if you're on Jim Pick dot. I think when I forked it, it didn't work. <laughs> if I had it already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it should have. Let try try uh, dragging it over again. Okay. Uh, so the flag. Yeah. Grab this one. Yeah. yeah. And you can drop it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, okay. Oh, now it just jumped down over there. So I think it did. So now, now fork this one. Got yeah. The blue thing yeah. And now, now that's yours. The older is. And yeah, refresh the window to see if we can figure out what's going on here. No, no, no. I mean, like. I'm really good at breaking okay. software. <laughs> um, you know, that's interesting. Maybe I it's because you forked it for me, then I forked no, it No, we, we, we pass them back and forth all the time. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, my suspicion is that you, some gesture you made, even when I backed out of it here, uh, that there's something going on with that picture that's, that's mm -hmm. messing up the JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, no, I said, oh, well, no, I can't even. Oh, did I, did I break it? <laughs> there you go, Jim. <laughs> Would you like to set yourself up with a federated wiki site? Um, no, no, no is an okay answer. I think not at this time. This, uh, what I saw was over my head, although I could come in halfway. Yeah. So you have any plans to, since it's a really different UI that people yeah. aren't familiar with, is there ideas you have for <laughs> tutorial? Yeah. Uh, it's sort of a, like a chicken and egg problem, right? Like you have to... So there are a lot of videos yeah. that show these things. Yeah. You know, but if we have hours of videos, who's got hours? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, as we develop more and more techniques, we have more and more pages about techniques. Oh, mm -hmm. A lot of it we call workflows. Mm -hmm. What steps can you do? Yeah. Uh, and the the path into that is, um, if I go back here, mm -hmm. is uh, how to wiki field guide to the federation. Mm -hmm. Featured sites. So these are journals, are things where people are using it to kind of record their thoughts. You know, it's kind of like a diary. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's interesting reading. Uh, featured projects are things we've done. Here's dreams and to dos, what we're currently working on, experiments. Uh, featured talks is uh, lots of stuff about how all this stuff works. Mm -hmm. uh, featured documentation. Here's one that's really handy, the names of things. When you read about this stuff, we'll use a bunch of names. So this is our glossary mm -hmm. and uh, interface names. We're very careful. We'll say a web page if we're talking about a tab in the browser or a wiki page if we're just playing, you know, cause because we look at multiple pages in a page, it yeah. can be confusing. A question. Yeah. Uh, what about the colored squares? That is uh, kind of our logo, uh, but because there's many similar sites, we make very many similar logos. So, so each site gets its own gradient? Yes. And, uh, you know, if, if you go back here to a uh, year new here, one of the steps is uh, pick one you like. Okay. So uh, we picked orange when we went through this step, and orange is pretty good. Uh, and it looked like kind of a solid uh, dark pink was the... Uh... I, I think they're all gradients, but that wasn't a very strong gradient. So that was, that was uh, uh, 
featured sites, featured documentation, and uh, so it looks like that's kind of the home site. The names of things. Well, there is, you know, we try really hard not to have a center. There isn't any really center of this. That makes it very confusing for people. How do I get back to the beginning? Right? And so well, we're trying not to have a beginning. It wouldn't be decentralized if we had a beginning. But there is a site called fed.wiki.org. Fed.wiki.org. And this is like the oldest site. And so this, you know, you find yourself here. But, you know, I encourage people, you can see it's been forked. There's a newer version of it here somewhere. Where was that? That was uh, just been copied. Can you give you all like a one minute sum up, summary, yeah. warning? Thanks. Thanks. Can, I, so, can so, I just uh, make one point that yes. uh, I think is uh, just some good context here yeah. is uh, tomorrow is what, the sixth? Sixth, sixth anniversary. It's the birthday of it. Yeah, so happy yeah. birthday to FedWiki. Thank you. <laughs> and my plan is to come down here and build a new feature by making a new plugin. And it's a plugin that's kind of like that see everything, but it's one that you can just add your site to. Mm -hmm. And we call that club, so you can okay. join the club. Okay. And it's it's the first plugin that we've made that if I make a club, you can join my club and the joining operation will actually write on my wiki. Up to now, nothing you do writes on my wiki, but if I make a club, I'm inviting people to to add themselves to my club. Just in that one restricted way. In that one page, yes. and that one thing, and I'll probably surround it by rules. Don't join my club if you <laughs> don't agree to these, you know, uh, we don't call them terms of services, what do we call it, or, you know, behavior. What, what is code of conduct. Have? Code of conduct. Mm -hmm. I'll have a code of conduct and say, if you, you know, agree to this code of conduct, then you're welcome to join my club. Mm -hmm. but, but anybody can make a club. It's just adding another kind of plug-in. To, uh, to a thing. Is this a, a service that you're running yourself? I run this myself, but mostly because I want people to experiment. Yeah. What I'd really like is it's just a one line command in the node npm install wiki. Okay. And you'll have it on. So you have like open source? Yeah, it's all open source. And, okay. and uh, what I'm really in doing is encouraging people to, uh, to install their own. So if you fiddle around with this and, and you say, gee, yeah. I kind of like this, and, yeah. and where was that documentation again about doing your own so, install? Is it Node.js? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's, it, in Node.js, it's, it's wiki. So that's Node. You know, we say npm, npm js, and packages wiki. And Paul is a contributor in the UK, and, and he did the last update was uh, uh, not long ago. And so this is uh, this is how you npm install. Globally wiki and run wiki. Coffee script? It, it, it's in coffee script. Uh, people keep asking is why is it in coffee script? And that was the best JavaScript, you know, five years ago, six years ago. <laughs> it's still pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the node package manager. Okay. Yeah. And that's what the yeah. node so the server is in node and it's pretty simple. It started out as Ruby. Mm -hmm. And we found that people couldn't get the Ruby to install. Ruby is, is a tough install for a lot of people, and Node mm -hmm. was really easy. So yeah. we switched to Node. But the server really is just, you know, I'll save a package, I'll update a pack. I mean, I'll save a page, update a page. So all the action happens in the browser. Mm -hmm. So I think we're done. Nice. But thanks, for, uh, thanks for coming. Yeah. And what I've actually found is that an hour of kind of fiddling around together is just enough to get you started. And then you use it, you play with it, and you read the documentation. And then you need another hour. Just so, checking up, like, really? Why does it work this way? And, yeah. and uh, I'm happy. So, so, so you have your FedWiki instance, yeah. and then if I put this on my own server, they'll still, you can still do Yeah, you, you do the same, all that, all that 
sharing happens just in HTTP. There's nothing, no yeah. communication from database to database. Okay. Nothing's hidden. Yeah. You know, like in Facebook, everything's hidden. Yeah. Right. So there's nothing hidden. Yeah. Okay. So it'll work. Uh, it works between the laptop. You know. Yeah. Uh, so forth. So I, I run one on my laptop, which is just my notes. Actually, I run several on my laptop. Cool. And did you mention the uh, the Wednesday Hangouts? There there is a there is a, a page in this how to wiki. Let's see how to wiki uh, called uh, where was it? Oh no, frequently asked questions. One of the questions is uh, where do you guys get together? And it says Google Hangout. At this address, and so, it's 10 a.m. Pacific. Right? 10 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> and so come in, and uh, uh, we love people who are experimenting. Oh, uh, Sorry. If, Sorry. if it's not working for you, show up at uh, <laughs> show up there, and we'll uh, stop everything and, and work on your problem. Okay. Well, thanks. thanks for coming. Thank you.